Welcome to Friday Night Live. He's Kevin Keyes. I'm Casey Kiernan. We're on the campus of Bakersfield High School where the drillers just dropped one at home 27 to 7 to Long Beach Poly. So much tradition on the field tonight. The drillers knew it would be tough. Poly had just won over the number two team in uh, California, Centennial of Corona. To beat the best, you've got to schedule the best. They knew it would be tough from the very beginning. It was physical from the kickoff. Let's go to the highlights. Stands were packed. Sold out crowd for Long Beach Poly at BHS. Drillers, class of 1963, with over 150 in attendance. BHS wins the toss, and they elect to defer. Polly with the ball first. Snap pitch to James Brooks. He follows his blockers, gets around that edge, but he's taken down. Rabbits, though, in the end zone. Ty Tideman takes a three-step drop. Pass to the corner. And Iman Marshall makes the catch, gets his band off to a head start with those symbols. Two point try is fluff, six nothing, Polly. BHS can't score, so Titan at it again. This time it's picked off by Kevin Hayes. Chaos ensues, but the drillers are faced with a field goal try in the red zone. Field goal is missed. Score remains six nothing, Polly at the half. The victory bell, towed by its original car, a 1910 Buick at halftime, wrong as it's passed from the 63 class to the 2014. Drillers enter the second half. They receive the second half kickoff. Asani Rufus takes the snap, reads the defense, keeps the football, and he cuts back and takes off. Huge gain. Rufus taken down at the 16 in the red zone now. More of the same from Rufus. Another cutback run. He evades the rabbit front seven this time. Hands it to the ref, and BHS takes a 7-6 lead after the PAT. Asani Rufus on the sideline remaining focused. He better, too, because the Jackrabbits are capable of breaking off plays like this. Jeremy Calhoun found a big hole. He's off. It's a foot race. Kids no doubt a track star, too. Touchdown, Pauly. They take the lead 13-7. to And, folks, this is not a replay. Once Calhoun breaks through his tackles yet again, he's off yet again. He's caught this time, but it is first and goal, Paul, Long Beach Poly. BHS looking for a turnover. That's all they can hope for. Titan fumbles the snap, and Bryson Briggs comes up with it. They got just that. BHS, though, with a long field to work with, but hey, they'll take it. Third and long for BHS. Rufus pitches to Jonathan Malone. That Poly front seven, just too much to handle, so they punt. Fourth quarter, Ty Tideman hands off to James Brooks. He makes him pay, barrels his way on in for another Pauly touchdown. That would make it 20 to seven, and 27 to seven was your final. Physical game from the very beginning. Kevin Keyes joins us post game. Uh, Kevin, you, you watched this game. What'd you think? Casey, it was a classic matchup of two of the winningest pro uh, programs in the state. Smash mouth football. It was physical right from the very beginning. It was physical. They had a game plan for BHS. Polly did execute it. Well, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to take a closer look at this tradition rich game. 